In this video, I'm gonna show you how to streamline the communication between you and your content team so that you can create more than 100 pieces of content per week across multiple social media channels. And to do this right, we're gonna to need to focus on three things, and that is notifications with your team and being able to give creative feedback to your video editors and your creative team, and then also establishing creative guidelines so that you and your team are on the same page. One of the biggest mistakes I see when people are communicating with their creative content team is that they rely too much on email. Emails can get lost. It's also hard to communicate creative ideas. You might want to give feedback at a specific point in a video, and email is just not a great place to do that. So what we found is communicating through Slack directly with your team is a lot more efficient because you can send specific messages that a video is ready for editing, and we can give them a link that will allow them to work on this specific project right away. But we also give them a link to all of the other videos that we've already assigned. So if they click on this, they can get access to all the videos that they need to work on. And if they click on this, they can see all of the videos that are outstanding that they need to actually work on. That way, every time we send somebody a notification, we can say, hey, you have a new project that you need to work on. And also here are all the existing projects that we've already assigned and the order that you need to get them all done. And in order to make that notification process seamless, we did need to implement a organizational system in Airtable that allows us to track each individual piece of content with a unique ID. And it's this unique ID that we can reference and organize all of the notifications around. That way, anytime we're referencing a specific piece of content, we can always know specifically which one it is. And then these IDs start to show up in various places to help track content. Like here's a video editing tool that we use called Descript. We also have those IDs referenced here. So whenever we're editing videos and going back and forth, everyone knows exactly what video we're talking about and can get easy access to it. Now, the next thing you need to think about is how do you give creative feedback to your team once you have given them the video and your video editor is sending that back for review? Again, we use Slack for that communication, but when a video is ready for review, we provide an easy link for whoever is reviewing videos to access that through a platform called frame.io. When you click this link, it's going to open up frame.io where I can view the video. I can actually watch that video and see how it looks and how it sounds. I can monitor the captions and anytime I see a mistake, I can come down here and I can leave a comment and I can hit send. I can also make visual indicators on the video itself and then I can put the coloring looks off here. And now my video editor is going to get notified when I update the status in frame.io, again, via Slack, that I've made these comments and these things need to be addressed. And basically how that works is I can just adjust the status here. And then in my Airtable system, it's going to adjust the status here. And then I can trigger the Slack notifications through the Airtable automations. And so by using Slack for notifications and frame.io for creative feedback, we really reduce all of the back and forth that would normally happen between a content creator, a CEO, a founder, and their video team or their content team. And so the last thing to talk about is creative guidelines. Every time we work with a video editor, we usually put together some sort of guidelines on how videos should look so that there isn't any ambiguity in terms of what we're expecting from the video editors. And when we onboard new video editors, this makes it really easy for them to see what we're expecting, the specificity and what they should return back to us. And then in our content system for all the various actions that we have our team take, we can link up creative guidelines. So when our team is working on a video or a thumbnail, they can get direct access to those guidelines for whatever video they're working on. They can just click this, open it up, and then they know exactly what to do. So these are the three simple things that you really need to master to really create a very efficient and streamlined communication plan for your content team. And as always, I hope you found that video valuable. Make sure to check out the next video. I go in depth on how to automate the entire content workflow from beginning to end, from planning to creation, to repurposing, to distribution. I go over the entire process and how to implement that into an Airtable system just like mine. Check out that video. I will see you there.